Good to hear, 59 minute average match time. I hope we have a massive battle. I don't know if I want to step outside at the moment, Johnny, because there's a lot of cockroaches that were flying around. But if I step out with you, they might attack you more than me. I think they're more like moths rather than cockroaches. No, they weren't. It was confirmed by uh, by our uh, veterinarian, Dan Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> Qualified in many spheres and always gets it right. Who are you picking, Johnny? I can't remember. I picked Moment. Just testing. 3-1. I, huh. I might be wrong and it might be 3-2. Johnny, you, you're going to get the nickname. I mean, your nickname, Rocket, obviously, from Guardians of the Galaxy. We won't get sidetracked, but you could be called uh, Johnny 3-1. <laughs> Hand out, one love. Exciting times. I really am up for this one, Johnny. Not that I haven't been up for any of them, but I uh, just feel that such an opportunity. We've got the baby faced assassin in the final. Yeah, we've just uh, hit 9.49 p.m. here in Alguna on the Red Sea. But I think it's time to strap yourselves Hand in out. for what could be one a up. scintillating feast of brilliant squash. Probably going to come down to who can hold their nerve the, the most when things get later in the game and they've been working hard both of them for a long period of time and along the way there the journey is going to bring us some tremendous all-court movements a lot of high paced hitting like we're seeing already Both players' ability to just get the hand out behind the ball and then work that forearm and wrist, putting that extra touches on the ball just to keep the ball very accurate, especially down the side walls. You see all sorts of cuts under and also around the ball to lock it in. from you excuse me if you want to speak with me speak in English okay no okay carry on please three two Unbelievable pace from Moment the Viper. Three -oh. Footwork here, tremendous speed into the ball. Uh, 
time. Couple of errors just and out for three. creeping out of Moman's racket. He's got to keep that in check because Farag is so consistent these days. That's why he's world number one because he's able to get into this groove where he's working that ball beautifully down the line and then he's just easing across, using his great range, long limbs to cut the ball off early but never pushing or over pushing too hard. Drop to Farag. And he's opened up a little break here and Moman is just a tad frustrated. Five, three. Conditions are a lot calmer tonight. Last year, these guys played in the quarterfinals, and Ali Farag gave Tarek Moment a proper lesson. It was three love in short time, but it was windy. And I remember speaking to Moment afterwards, Joe, and he was very distracted by the wind. He felt that it just completely messed his whole game up. Oh, <laughs> you just about to say messed his hair up. That's not possible. It's no, very, it very primed. This is better. No let. Battle of the husbands. Four five. Good movement there from Farrow getting round and <laughs> not even that arm. Go gadget arm could get that back. So steady start. Moment is, uh, doesn't want to revive any memories of last year. It was actually 33 four. minutes, Joe. It was very, very quick. 4-3-7 was the result last year. So, Amazing. The way Farag, that tight ball, he's able to somehow Down. just... Drops the wrist as he and indicates up. there after he played the shot. But the retrieving on that right foot front forehand is just incredible at times. The ball's tight and somehow he will work his fingers and hands to keep the ball and roll it again tight. Doesn't get any tighter than that. Hand out. 7-5. Line I'm sure Bolu's out. Hand Can't check it though, that's Six, the problem. I mean, seven. you should know that. This will give you a good look, but. Oh, goodness me, that was close. It's good work there by our director. For me, that's what Moment's got to do, Joe. He's got to really stick to basic Seven just good forward. basic squash and that means attacking yeah with that speed but keeping that ball straight in the front corners resist the temptation to use too many angles but press to get up as well just through good lines he's very quick on those four and volleys Oh, that's a beautiful, very, very sneaky little Hang shot down. here from Ali Farag. He's kind of pegged behind Moman, but surprises hey, him seven. because Moman didn't get a good look at what he was doing. That's what I mean about basics. And out, eight all. If Farag goes short from behind and it's loose, he'll, he can drop it all day long. It's Moth City out there, Joey. 
Yeah, there's a there's a lot. It's very humid here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got to work on his racket head speed here, Tarek. Moment. Oh. Hand out. Eight all. It's amazing how the weather can change. We haven't had any nils here throughout the week, and then tonight it's. Uh, Why is uh, Ali seems to be afraid? Amazing. He's afraid of the meal. Excuse me. Well, they're both Excuse afraid. Me. Court service, please. Can you can you go on? and kill her? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Says around just asking court service to go on and kill the moths. Kill her, so he's obviously he's some aware somehow that it's a female moth. Yeah. Continue, please. Oh, it's a tough one, this one, isn't it, Joey? I mean, we don't want to have <laughs> stoppages for this stuff, but what do you do? It's oh. obviously it's distracting. Imagine you're going in to play the front forehand, you get down low, and then a moth just straight in your eye. And you hit in the neck. Or up your nose. And out, oh. eight all. Gets worse. Eight all. Well, this is a very joking aside. This is crucial time. Business end of the first. Yeah, that's going to test the concentration powers here. That's been a long break in play. Unbelievable speed from Farag there. He's going to have Stop. to do it again, but it's too much. So, Moman gets the break. He's been behind all game. 9-8. The fencing with Moths has helped him here to get into a 9-8 lead. Oh, what oh wow, you that was seriously that was loose, I know. What an error, he went for the big cross-court nick, it was wild. Ali Farag just wanting to tidy it up into the tin. So an opportunity, huge for Moman, huge. One thing that Moman has, Joey, just against Farag, he's able to get that cross-court out of that, that area where Farag likes to weave his web on the backhand, and that's a real asset. Plenty of space there to play. Thank you. Oh, there's plenty of space to hit that ball. I mean, there's no way that, that that's going to be upgraded. Yes, let decision of Hale moment has no review remaining. It's been very evenly contested and evenly fought all the way to eight all. We had this long stop. It's really a few minutes almost. And Ali Farag's come out the back end of that looking worse for wear because his concentration's gone a little bit uh, off, Joey. Speed of both players, speed of foot is just absolutely... Hand out. Thick. <laughs> it's another. 19. Ali Farag does not like moths. It's very clear. He's jumping all over the place. Yeah. That's He's always talking to the moth, saying, Why are you doing this to me? Yeah, I know. I mean, it's obviously you can see where he gets his foot speed from. Please, He's just continually, no, need to stop. He's continually running away Let's from the mouth. Game ball still for the moment. Game ball. Oh, 
Ooh, surprise attack there for a moment from deep. Oh, what a length. Unbelievable length. And I said that backhand nine. side. Moment is equal to the task. He's been out. sent back, but look at this volley. Hits the nick, rolls out the back. Tarek Moment takes first blood. Johnny's prediction of a, a Moment upset here. One step further, 15 minute first game. The Moment Eater leads one game to love. Brilliant, brilliant start from the Viper here. He is looking very, very good out there. They both players need a little bit of time just to get into their groove. Once they got into the groove, especially in the back half of the game, we saw some beautiful movement, incredible uh, all-court diagonal stuff where they were just really going head-to-head, toe-to-toe, and, and coming up with all sorts of variations at the front of the court. Moment, he was able to lock down that backhand side and nullify all of Farag's attempts to sort of weave the web in that front backhand area and to come up with a shot like that to win the game, a real psychological blow for Farag where he really likes to work his opponent, finds himself down one love after a quarter of an hour. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Resume in thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. Moment leads, one came to love, love all. So the Momentator will kick things off and with that one love lead, he's going to ask the question of the world number one that if he can maintain this intensity of play, accuracy, defensive work and then that speed around the front, coming up with some beautiful drops. This is really going to test the medal of the world number one, Joey. But that's what we want. That's what the game wants. We, we've got a world number one, and he's got to be tested by those players just behind him. Yeah, big time. I mean, like I say, he's only lost once before, and that was to the bullet in Zurich, which we were commentating on. And Tarek Moman is, uh, you know, he's been so used to being the runner-up and losing a major, major title. So it'd be great to see a little bit of a change. Throw the cat amongst the pigeons, as it were got the makings of a unbelievable contest. I mean, the bounding of Farag with his movement looks so strong and the foot speed at moment. Look at that. Oh my goodness. He's unbelievable acceleration here. Electrifying. One love. With the front foot breaking in and then the touch to hold that so short. Look at the way his face. He's got a determined look about him moment. Again, beautiful shot, frustration from the world number one now. So this is what we saw in moments, two pre three previous outings, all in the glass court here. And he kicks in a gear. It's like he has a connection with the front wall, his racket, the, the combination of speed, all synchronized. Stroke to moment. Three loves. I have to be fair. It's I mean Farag's obviously trying to defend, but it's been brilliance for a moment that's got him to three love here. Yeah, this is exactly the mindset that he had against Simon Rosner. In fact, throughout this event, he's been hugely consistent with his quality, oh. just like his wife. His wife has been brilliant throughout this event. So they've both Four been mentally love. really tuned in. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. 
three yellows and three bounces. One just, just down. catching the top. Looks like he's uh, he looks like a conductor there of an goes. orchestra and he's putting together One a masterpiece four. around the front of the court moment with just the way he moves his hands around. Well, the Viper is, does not take such One, four. a vicious attitude towards these moths as we saw with the baby-faced assassin. He was stomping them, Joey. <laughs> and get... What a sequence of shots we just saw there. Incredible. Inch perfect, everything. Oh, full squat there for a moment to get under that ball and just momentarily. We, oh, what a rally. Unbelievable. It was just absolutely unreal. The quality of both players there. And out. Five, one. Moment again, the trusty backhand volley's locking them in dead tight to the side wall. Joey's on fire. Yeah, he is. The accuracy, he's calm. Consistency is the key for me with him. So consistent. All that ball control, he does, like I say, a huge amount of solo practice. That will be a stroke, and he's racing away with this. 6 1. Ali Farag's itching himself. 6 1. Get a good look at this one. Again, perhaps the, the way he was able to take the pace out on that forehand volley. I suppose the shot before was hit firm. Look at this one, just softer. That awareness to know with each shot selection, just getting it right every time. And there's the sign that the world number one is completely rattled here. Seven, he is one. Right. in shock. He's trying to jog and get himself going, but he's been completely blitzed in game two. Again, tight to the wall. Just let. Round. 7 1. Right. Beautiful snap there on that overhead volley. It's very difficult to snap those balls down and get them to a dying length. 7 1 moment. He's playing the best squash we've seen him play at this tournament so far. Oh, Ali Farag is lost. He's completely dazed. He doesn't know what's going on out there. It's rare to see him just just walk to the other side and then get on a ball. That one's just above the tin. And out. 2-8. Down. That's down. Ali Farag is not handling this too well, and Joe. Down. He's looking psychologically Nine. battered at the moment. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is a, a huge turnaround. So he's, he's kind of semi giving up in a way. This second game, I mean, that is very. Wow. Well, I mean, he's got to take this opportunity, Tarek moment, because he's been working, he's been working, he's been digging deep for so long to get an opportunity like this. He's got eight game balls to go two love up. Oh, and Ali Farag's missed that. I mean, he really, he's at sea here on the Red Sea, Ali Farag. I mean, the duration of this is so short. Tarek moment. Looking fresh and focused. 24 minutes and he's two games to love up.
That score line says it all, 11-2 against the world number one. I mean, it's just unreal. That was the first drop of the game. The slide in, so familiar with Tarek Moment when he's playing his best squash. Just the, the foot goes out, he slide in, and he's able to still come up with inch-perfect drops. That was a rare error. But the backhand side in particular, he's totally dominating Farag, which is where he likes to control his opponent. So it's no wonder that Farag, towards the end of the game, you see there, he sort of gave up the ghost a little bit, obviously focusing his thoughts on game three. But that's a pretty dangerous tactic because what he can expect is that the Viper is going to come out throwing venom all over the court early on in this game. And if he hits his marks, well, it might be good night, Mr. Farag. Tarek Moment, two love. Leo resume in 60 seconds. in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. Mom at least two games to love. Love all. Dream start here for Tariq Moment. It's been so, so emotional with uh, being the bridesmaid at so many occasions to Ali Farag and Mohamed El Shabagi. Is this his opportunity, his time to, oh, look at this. Immaculate, immaculate. And there, the first point on the board, the clench of the fist. Don't think I've ever seen him look this determined, Joey, too. Do you think, it, I mean, we've seen him in there at nearly every evening, the uh, restaurant by the courts where he's having sushi. Do you think that's uh, an opportunity for him to feel light and fresh? <laughs> you think the uh, light finish to the day in the sushi restaurant's helping him out? Well, he's a man of man of habit, oh, and he's, show, he's showing that, that there. Real. I know, it's a joke. So much spin going in on those balls. Yeah, but it's, it's also the length and line, the balance of the touch and the hitting. Got it down to a tee in this match. Ooh, well, Farag was in for the drop there either. as well, yeah. Hand out, one all. From a neutral perspective, what we really want to see here for all the squash TV viewers, I'm sure, they want to see Farag just get his teeth in and really clench the fist and really start hitting some heavy lengths and turn this into an attritional battle as well. because I think it's the only way he's coming back in it. He needs to construct some rallies where he can just get Tarek Moment a little tired at least. Goes it's just unreal. It's incredible. Ali Farag was keeping it nice and straight. As soon as he goes cross on the racket of moment, gobbled away. And out 2 1. Maybe Tarek Moment should take the mouse with him more often. Use him as a distraction technique for Ali Farag. He's obviously not a moth man. I used to, I mean, I can imagine there's a lot of players out there using, uh, you know, cues or signals. I think that Moment wants something to do with a moth. If we can think about the picture of a moth, because I've never seen him play like this. Just the front court work. Look at this defensive work for a moment. He's going with the flow. It's 
perfect balance in his game. Just clipped the tin, yeah. It's down there for eggs now. Giving it the uh, ten tense arm in reply. There we go. So the stroke being given up until now, we have hardly had any decisions, very free flowing. Johnny, and was his shot prevented or affected? Thank you. Okay. Three, Seen this two. a fair bit tonight. Farag has cleared quickly, but is he out of the swing completely? Given that the uh, central referee's already said stroke, hard to see that this one's going to be overturned. Let three two. Oh. Again, take. Oh, this is again the mix of pace, the frustration from Ali Farag, but the mix, the floating torpedo, Four, two. <laughs> and then the hard hit, awesome stuff from Moment. And the thing about that shot, Joey, he does the inside out down the line so often that makes that cross when he does bring it. It's so deceptive. Sidewall tight again. I don't think... Tarek moment, it'd be interesting to get stats on how many attempted shots to the front have not claimed the sidewall once they've sailed in there. That's the future of squash, Some perhaps for the analytics. Again, incredible work here. There's that extended swing. It's, I don't understand what Ali are. Farak's doing there. No, I mean, it's not natural. Video review, it's not natural to see the swing here. He's hit there. I mean, it's nowhere near Tarek moment. That's not a natural swing. He does not hit the ball like that. The ball's a bit further over and it's just gone. I think Farag's made ball, yeah, but the ball's making well a big there. effort to get no, out of the way as well. The ball's way over. It's not. Can't. Oh, yeah, it's good to see. It's not being rewarded as well. And it's important that. Yes, let 4-2. I don't want to see cheap strokes given for excessive swings. Only Farag's playing with fire there. He got, oh, he's played that one, I can't believe it. Well, I mean, it was there to play and he played it well. Farag's showing signs that he wants to join the party, Joey, and Hand if out. he does, three, four. Well, this could be something quite special if he would manage to dig himself out of the hole that he's in. This is where Moman needs to respond again because he's had it all his own way. Ali Farag, as you say, Johnny, he's starting to fight now. Ah. Fist pumping to his corner every time, every rally he wins. This is where Moman needs to then step up onto that T line and, and match him rather than go back. This is where the battle starts. Well, 
Cowan. Yes, and uh, interesting. First time we see Moman opt for a very, very cheap winner. But he couldn't get himself in a better position. Being two games to love up and just within one point in this third game. You know, you've got to realise that uh, these opportunities come few and far between. He's got to capitalise. Stepping up now, Johnny. Straight line of moment. It's just giving him so much purchase to use that cross court when he can use a bit of deception as well because he's so tight with his play up and down the lines everywhere. Very good phase of play, the last four points for Ali Farag, 2-4 to 6-4. It's been tough going. Starting to really spark up. Oh, that's that's earned, Joey. He really deserves that because he's been working the back corners superbly, Seven, four. and he's been hitting his marks. What a perfect width. Very, very strong fight back here from Ali right, Farag. Another good width. That's going to be a stroke. Barak, not clear. He should clear. Eight, four. Well, Moments just walked straight into that. Yeah, he can't play that one. So eight, four. Tarek Moments not won a point for a good few minutes now. It's two, four to eight, four straight yeah. through. Nine, four. Credit to Farag sticking to his guns and it's been really length based to get himself out of trouble but some serious accuracy on those lengths as well. Ten for gimbal. So Ali Farag has responded, he's woken up. Hand out. Five ten gimbal. Now it's Tarek Moman that 11 5, game to Farah. softens off slightly. Two games to one. So we now have a fourth game coming up for you in this last semi final for the men. 39 minutes, and it's Ali Farag that responds, but Moman leads two games to one. Magnificent turnaround from the world number one, and that's what we expect. He's a, he's a world champion this year, and he really needed to get his case going a little bit here in this third game. He found himself down 4-2. The brilliance of moment was just not to be stopped early on, 
but Farag just found a way through with some Leon really, Jorkin, really good length play. Seconds. He was very aggressive with his mindset and he stopped hitting the loose balls. He was clipping the sidewall far too often at times, which was creating mo uh, opportunities for moment. But he did very well to dig himself out of that. He's got to maintain this. Just haven't seen both players playing at their best together yet. If that happens, then it could turn into a real classic. Leo resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. Moment leads two games to one. Farah to serve. Love all. Johnny, just recapping on your prediction, are you saying a 3-1 moment victory? And Ali Farag starts off One as he finished. Left. I left the door slightly ajar for a 3-2. Oh, did you say 3-2? <laughs> I said 3-1. Sorry. I do feel that Farag is showing some serious strength mentally here. You are world champion and world number one. You've got to wear that tag, and that means days like today, you've got to work your way through it. And he's doing a very good job presently of building his campaign to continue this comeback. And the intensified pace to the back of the court has just taken moment a little bit away from the tee. And uh, as we go in... Beyond 40 minutes here, we've got to remember that Tarek Moment will start to feel this. Well, Ali Farag suddenly looks round at Tarek Moment. And out. Furious One with four. the body position but uh, for me he didn't really do much wrong it was right in the middle of the court and he just hit it well the free flowing winners have stopped for the time being it's got a lot to do with the defense of Farag again yes, leg. loose ball he got away he was quick to move one all. Big sidestep there. Don't know about you, Joe. I want to see a classic. I really do. I'm just gunning for it, longing for it. Well, if he's going to win this, Ali Farag, it's going to be a bit of a classic, isn't he? Because he's still down by a game. Hand out, 2-1. One. One yes. Why is he not me? Because you are in the way. I'm not. You are. 2-1. Sorry, Tarek, you are in the way there.
Well, the ball's getting bouncier again. The rallies are getting longer, Johnny. Getting back to that line and length, waiting for the opportunity. Patience levels of both players. Oh, that's... Yeah. Good decision there by Nasser Zaran straight away. Very good decision. No argument either. Hasn't had too many opportunities to go in here and do this Three, because two. of the increased intensity of Farag's game everywhere. The general hitting has gone up a notch and uh, Moment just a bit panicky on that drop, trying to squeak it in too low. He's going to have to go with Farag, you feel, here. As long as Farag's lines are hit with such pace and accuracy, he do, he, he's just going to have to go with him. And it's going to be quite long, this little phase of play here to get any kind of lead. Stroke to Moamin. Ali ask for video review. Player review of Farag on the stroke decision. He's read that though. So this is the one down, he's read it. But he'd have to hit it completely at a right angle to hit Farag. I mean, there's room to play that. Well, it's... Uh, if, that, if that's a stroke, you're going into a dangerous territory. Uh, you'd be gift wrapping them in a DPD box and handing them out everywhere. Stroke to moment, decision upheld. Farag has no review remaining. Hand out, three all. Really good depth being hit by these guys. A lot of bite to it. Top. And that's well finished. Good call there from Nasser Zaran. Bang on it. Hand out. 4-3. Good patience from Farag. Waited. And there, nice finish. Classic squish. Yes, let. Four three. What's your feeling internally? What's your vibe? I was just thinking about that, trying to figure it out. Um, <laughs> I knew it, I could tell. Yeah. It's when your eyes I start think spinning around. If, if Moman can do a bit of a push here and get a couple of point advantage, it might break Farag. But as long as Farag can keep this sort of metronome of hitting, hitting these lines and keep Moman behind him, no. that's going to happen. Well, the errors are coming. He's certainly increased the intensity Five, and the pace. He sparked three. himself up. He's manning this out. You know, the first two games were very, very short and there wasn't much of a response. And it's quick now because obviously this is his last opportunity to salvage. And it's becoming physical. It's becoming the game that it should have been. Yeah, and it's interesting because the accuracy levels of moment short game have sort of dipped a little bit. The accuracy of, has gone up from the hitting, though. He's got more bite going to the back of the court, Ali Farag. Movement very, very sharp. Farag looks comfortable. That's a better shot. That's what I think Moment has to do. He's got to step it up since those Hand moments out. where he's got his 
opponent out fight. of position and then come up with a shot like that. He needs to just inject a little bit more venom in the match. But the swooping of Farag is shutting down and the backhand oh. side suddenly. Six, four. Ali Farag has got the Viper under his foot and the Viper's Seven, moving four. the head, but he's struggling to get away. Yeah, Ali Farag just geeing himself on with the, the fist clenching, looking back at his corner for reassurance. Nor Al Taib there and Kareem Darwish. It must be a funny crossover, you know, when you go into to it because Kareem Darwish being involved with the Wadi Degla club, he's got... Renima Walili there, who's the wife of Tariq Mo. It's all very interlinked, isn't it? It's like, who supports who? A bit like Australian squash back in the 80s, Johnny, but we won't get sidetracked. Court service, please. In the front. What's your gut feel about where this is Thank headed you. right now? Turned out 5-7. Pretty, pretty peckish. <laughs> not going to lie. Um, when are you not peckish? I feel that I feel this is going to go to five. I feel it's going to go to five. Unless we see something really, really spectacular and disciplined from, Ali, uh, from Tariq Moment. This is definitely going to five and then I can uh, reconvene after that. Why, why they? Where's your refuse position? Big up. Yeah. Well, perhaps yeah. during the video review, we can sort of hit, you ask for big up, hit the nail with, or hit, kill two birds with one stone and have a look at this pickup. That looks good. And video review for the decision. Big up is good. That was the second one he's talking about. That's also good. That one's clearly good. And then this one, one Video under it. Farag. Ball's a long way at the front corner there. Waiting for the video decision. Do feel the ball was a fair way up the court. This shot here for a moment. Oh, it's, it's prefer to sit here than over in that video ref chair sometimes, Joey. That's for sure. It's not easy. This is, uh, yeah, this is doesn't show as clear, I don't think, for this one. This is less supportive for a moment, this one here. The front angle's better for a moment. Okay. So it's been a no let. No, no let. let. Ali Farag was looking for a stroke. Six, seven left. So no let given. A bit of uh, fortune there for Tariq moment. Can he utilise this, Johnny? Can he utilise it? That's the question. Get the feeling he needs to somehow because Farag's just taken over the control of the air, uh, the T area and he's working that backhand front court area and moment was winning when he was doing this hang on a minute 
No, the arm. The arm from Fa oh, the, uh, the arm from Farah came out of nowhere, but he couldn't get that one. And there's the Yalla, seven old, the passionate Yalla from the uh, Viper, where he throws everything into it. There, and this is a very good reaction volley with a lot of power. It's all about the speed again. Get those feet working. He's tired, but he's got to push through that now. He's got a sniff of the finish line. Oh, oh hell, well, this is well, that's been the mainstay in the comeback for Ali Eight, Farag. The backhand seven, volley left. drop has been his go-to shot and he's made the error, his shoelace is undone and the Viper is rejuvenated. As you said, he's got a, a re-injection of Venom. Look at this difference in Tarek Moment's play now, Joey. Well, moments appear appealing. He felt that the ball from the front right hit the top of the tin as Ali Farag hit it cross court. If he doesn't win this rally, there'll be a very big appeal from Tarek Moment. Good line, opportunity. Oh, Ooh, goodness me! Could have done more with that, but anyway, <laughs> it's frenetic Ooh. now. It is. Oh, his racket! You've just seen a bit of his rackets come off in the corner there. Look, is that a stroke? It's a bit of his plastic bumper, having the bumper on there. It's in that. It would have to make the court unplayable, which it isn't apparently. Look, it's a bit of, can you can see it, just by eye events park, underneath, please. there's a bit of plastic bumper. Ball is good. Hand out. I haven't spotted Eight the bit of plastic there, Johnny, but I can see it clear as day. No, no way. I'm, I'm right. I'm sure ball is not reaches the wall. Review the last stroke. Review. I'm asking for a letter. I'm sure. I'm not going to ask for review. I, I have a right to review. I have a right to review. Can, can you check, please, about the ball? Just front wall or not? Well, the only way we can. The only thing we are able to check is the double bounces and the pickups. You can't checking. check the top of the tin because we haven't got that consistent facility, just like the outer courts, Johnny, sadly. I mean, Tarek Moment, I told you there's going to be a big thing, but there's nothing you can do about it. The referee doesn't see it in real time. So we need to kind of continue Well, with it's the game. a bit of a tactical ploy from the Viper, I think, to slow things down because... Uh, Carry on, please. No connection. Connection is, is not working at all. At all. That piece of bumper is still sitting there, Joey, and that should be taken off the court. That The players have not realised it, unbelievably. No, moment's right by it. But maybe that message should get through also to the... Well, they can't see it, but we can. You hit a good backhand line. It's right there. It's pretty clear as day. Piece of, there, you nearly hit it there. Look. That's where we're oh. going. Good target practice. A bit, a bit smaller than the shoe. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. It actually bounced on there. That's amazing. But that needs to come off the court. That hit it, and that bounced awkwardly, and that moved it quite a bit. Wow. I can't believe that neither of the players... Oh, surely they're going to realise that after this rally. Because that is an obstruction in the court, definitely. Well, the pr ball being worked to the back of the court, waiting patiently for the opportunity. Trying to, there it is, it's moved nicely there. Bottom left hand corner. Great rally this one. Oh. Monumental rally, the, the probably the longest of the tournament at this start, I would say. 
they're trying to look for two points to hit that <laughs> condition game to hit the plastic. That was just up for a moment. Oh, goodness, Joe, they're going to be tired after this rally. Really tired. It's hot out there tonight. No let. Someone needs to tell them to take that piece of plastic off. Has Farag realised it? Nobody's realising it. He's hit it twice. The ball's landed on it twice. Nine, hmm. eight. It's literally right underneath the squash TV sign. Despite the eye events, you can see it. I mean, it's, I keep talking about it, it's, it's there. 60 minutes for this last semi final. Tarek Moman. 9-8, he's gone back to 8 all, but it is actually 9-8. There we are, back again. Oh, he's, he's gone for the review. Player review moment in the no let position. Is there any cheeky, cheeky movement from Farag here? He's come straight back into moment there. Boy, don't think this is so clear cut because Heavy movement off the ball from Farag. Back into moment there. He's really trying to stop him from going through. No let decision upheld. Moment has no review in mind. Nine all. Well, that's a lifeline and a half for Ali Farag. Oh, he's got a stroke as well. The Fortune is really looking on Ali Farag. Tarek Moman has got to sort his head out. Team Game ball, Ali nine. Farag keeping his composure. He can't believe his luck. A no let and then a stroke when Moman was 9-8 up. Now it's Game ball. It's good work. That was a movement with the body there but Farag threw on it <laughs> well he's looking he's, Ali, he's Ali, Farag, Mr. Farag can you wait please can you check the ball in the corner please I thought he's pointing hand. at the bit, bit of plastic he's talking about the pickup I think it was okay. The one that hit the neck on uh, mid-court. I think it was all right, Johnny. Yeah, you got that clearly. Yeah, no it's fine. All. It was clear. Well, it was good. Well, Ali Farag sends this into game a Farag. fifth game. Two games old. Tight moment. Two games to love lead. And we are into that fifth game. 63 minutes, 23 minutes. Fourth game, the longest of the four, two games apiece. Monumental tussle developing between these two, and that's all down to the raising level of the world number one. He was completely blown away in the first two games, in particular the second game, but He's held strong, he's been mentally very, very tough, and he's lengthened the rallies and pushed Tarek Moman deep in the court. Hasn't given him the opportunities that he would like around the front. And uh, those lengthy rallies seem to be working in his favour. Moman, for, he, for his part, made a massive push at the end of the game. Physically very taxing because it didn't uh, pay off in the end, and he's going to have to do it one more time. So has he got the sustenance to get through this? Farag, so efficient in the way he moves. Resume in 60 so seconds. light. Two games all. Wow, this could go even towards 85, 90 minutes if we if we get another 25-minute game. Play will resume in 30 seconds.
15 seconds. Time. Do game goal. Farak to serve. Love all. One love. Stroke to Mormon. Hand out one all. So point for point stuff at the beginning of this fifth game. The lead, Johnny, how important is the early lead? I think it's absolutely crucial for Moman because he needs to shift the pendulum back in his favour. It's just been running away from him the last two games. Physically, he needs to invest everything into the start, even if it costs him a lot. Farag. Stroke to Moman. That's a very, very strange stroke. There's a lot of arm wrapping racket wrapping around this is what we don't want to see yeah I think uh, we'll see I don't think it'll be the end of uh, slightly exaggerated arm wrapping or swinging here Johnny unfortunately but let's just hope it it stays clean and, and free flowing given the uh, reality of the occasion what is the board? Yeah. Okay. Well, how about that? He's been rewarded. Stroke to Mormon. Decision upheld. Farag has no review remaining. 2 1. Can he use that little bit of fortune to kick on here? Completely different uh, urgency about everything now. When you think about the first two games, so Ali Farag's woken up, the adrenaline has uh, been released, He's got out of the uh, venom like days that the Viper put on him in the first two. It's incredible the way he was able to get under that ball <laughs> and just dink it with a and forehand out. shot. He looks good oh, physically, Farag, for me. Very good. He looks good physically. Those arms and legs are looking. Uh, Sharp. Moman's the one that's uh, got to dig really deep mentally, considering also the fact that he was two games to love up and also he's ha been the, uh, the bridesmaid so much to Farag. Good short work. Incredible from Farag. The way he <laughs> twice in a row. This is <laughs> unbelievable. Just coverage. somehow get himself out of that situation. And again, retrievals. There's no sign really that Farag is going to back off with his physicality either. There, another fist clench. 
You can see the determination in Ali Farag's body language. Knows that extending the rally, Johnny. Getting the ball back, lobbying, defending. He'll get rewarded. It's going to be a strike. That's it. I think it should be. Yeah, it's a very loose, loose volley. Player review moment in the yes lead position. Well, he got helped on his way, but the problem for Farag here is the poor execution of that drop, a uh, volley drop that's gone second bounce in the front of the service box. It's, well, yes, let's not been overruled. So we saw the no saw the wrap around get rewarded, but that's not a stroke. So there's a bit, little bit of inconsistency creeping in there. I feel, Joey. Yeah, and also he's lost his review. Remember. Tarek moment, unless this goes to a tie break, he's got no more opportunities, Down. and that is a gift. Hand out, three all. Locked in, two all, three all. This is the last game. So Farrow gets it right. No, let. No, he's, uh, Good correction after that error, but on the back out volley drop, Johnny main yeah. state. It's been the it's been the area. He's just Four, worked the three. whole game around. His whole comeback has been been based sorry been based around length and then working yeah. that corner. Easy for you to say. Dr. Momin, you don't have video review. You lose your video review. Carry on, please. I don't want the air hear any. For all. So, unfortunately, the just constant requests for let's have just detracted from the spectacle. We saw a brilliant opening, obviously, for a moment, and then the Come back from Farag. The end of the fourth game had some tremendous rallies, but both players just getting a little over desperate now, looking for each other. It's a great shot. It's a brilliant shot. It's a really good shot. Court service, please. He's played the straight ball so many times. That was really subtle. I mean, to catch the Viper like that, it takes a lot of skill. Farag's got his thinking cap on once again. There's the variation, just nudging it beautifully, making it look simple. Thank you. Yeah, the patience is uh, incredible because he's... Hand out, five, four. After 70 minutes, he's just pulling out these little tickles of variation that he hasn't played so far in the whole match. It's been extremely basic, but the game that he's stuck to. Great switch forehand. It's just got moment well, trapped moment, in that backhand back corner. Yeah, I mean, moment just kind of having a bit of a laugh Six, because four. the flick hitting the nick. Slightly fortunate there. Ali Farag will take it all day long. But yeah, the backhand front corner, which is such a strength area for Tarek Moment. It's been his undoing in this last phase. He's been laying it in too loose and there's too many variations coming from Farag. That was better. And again. You're not clear, you are in the line of the ball. Hand out, 5-6. Well, the freaking out there from Ali Faragi. Was he even calling Nasser Zaran Dr. Nasser? He's been called Captain, Doctor. Backyard volley variation. He hasn't played that across Hand the court. Out. 
Yeah, five. on the volley, Johnny. He's been going straight. And then you can see that the Viper was shaping up to go to the front left and changing the angle. So clever play here from Farag, making use of the loose squash. And he's done it again. He's just getting out of jail. Time and time again. Look at that. The extrication <laughs> out of that front <laughs> corner is this incredible. It's is unbelievable. He's not slowed down one bit. He's got quicker, Frarig. He has definitely got quicker. Look at him. Need to play that. Decision, oh, he's uh, video decision. There's a lot going on it. Needs to play it. Video review decision. You know, we're not going to go back to the old school, Johnny, of the shaping up for the strokies. Can't be doing that. Oh. Have a look at moments, movement. As he's coming, he's gone oh, in. Yeah, he's he has gone, gone in. in. He has gone in, you're right. He's See moved. Yeah, he's moved yeah, the wrong yeah. way. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that could be a stroke. Ooh. Could be a stroke, Johnny. Not a stroke, Joe. It's a let. Can you see it, please? Thank you. Thank you. It's very Can odd. you see it, please? It's Leave the much current. Please, everybody see. So I don't know why he uh, seems to have been a mass exodus. People yes, in the front seven wanting five. to leave. Right. Okay, Joe. Moment must use his good fortune there. He is tired. He's feeling the pinch. It's 75 minutes or so, or plus, on the clock. Maybe we'll get a look at that, but he's got to make a move now because the efficiency of Farag, the lightness is not going to, it's not going to go away. He's not going to lose any speed. Moment has to just push very, very hard to go through that wall, literally. There is, that's the push through the wall. That was a massive rally. And there was and nothing easy about that. It was just six, about guts and determination. Yeah, he's got to rev himself up. He really look, has to rev himself up. See the look on his up. face here before he hit that ball. Exactly it was what just I was going to say, Johnny. The eyes were really wide and alert. No, let. Oh, I can't believe it. What's he done? Should blade. What's he done? They've got no reviews, these guys, neither of them. And he's, what's he done? Yeah, but we just talked about that massive push and this massive rally. That's, 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 I don't know what he's doing there. I don't that's know a what poor he's doing decision. There. It's a terrible decision. I don't know what he's done. He's not helped himself. Two-point cushion at this stage is huge for Farag. Down. Ball is good, sorry. Ball is good. Ball was good. He said down. No, no, ball was good. Ball was good. Mr. Moment, ball was good. But you, you called it down. You, I call, yeah, I but call ball was down, but lesson. ball is finished, you cannot get it. You have to play a lesson for that. Ten, ten, six, much ball. Nine, six, nine, six. Oh, it's nine, six. <laughs> Oh, this thing's are just Please. running out of control here, Joey. It is 9-6. 9-6. Carry on, I see the ball was good. Yeah. Well, this is getting uh, a bit out of hand now. It's uh, becoming slightly circus-like. Farag 9-6. Well, it looked like it was down. That looked down to me. That that really did. Thank you. Uh, you can't review it. Thanks, Mo. 
10 6. Yeah, well, he's massively down. There's no chance in hell that could be up. Four match balls here for Ali Farag. One taken. Speed of the Viper. It's just been missing in this game. He's been too preoccupied with the interferences and looking to try to find something out of those. He needs to just go with that speed there. Unbelievable speed again. Chancing his arm a bit here, Joey. Well, he's got, you know, it's he's been... Well, we're into it. Two match no, balls he's made well. here. And now we're back in. It's nine... Still a match ball for Farag, match and it's ball. happened so quickly, it's been like a sandstorm. That was risky. Oh, oh God, my it. goodness. Ali Farag, something's just happened to Farag. He's all over the shop. He was in control. has one review available. He was in control, and he's looking at Tarek Moma. Moma's jumping round. Video review decision, please. So the video review decision <laughs> is uh, straight to the video ref. First thing you're going to see here, Joey, is an exaggerated swing, and an exaggerated swing. He's looking too much for the man there for me. He should play the ball. We've been seeing this throughout the game. Both players need to be reminded, play the ball, play the rallies out. He has, actually has not got his eyes on the ball there as the ball goes through. Not looking at the ball. Hard to hit the ball when you don't look at it, Joey. Oh, Johnny, a let ball's been given. Both these guys do have their reviews back with it being a tie break. Two all, ten all, you couldn't call it. Left side, ten all. Drama continues. Well, how he does have a review. That was an early call. Really early call. Really early call. Ten all. But, but a lot of interference. A lot of interference, and he's can get nearly everything back anyway. Stroke to Farag. Oh, he couldn't have been any quicker in. You never say that Tarek Moman would have. Laid this in loosely because he was in quick, 11, 10, balanced. Match board. So another match ball for Ali Farag. Stroke to Farag. Well, Farag gets another stroke. Backhand front corner, he's charged in. He's read it quickly. There's a review from Moment. So he's coming, he's read this very quickly and that will be a stroke all day long. Stroke all day long. He's right on him there, Johnny. He's boasted. Watch him, he's in. It's a loose ball. He's, uh, he's going to get a stroke for this. And it is a stroke. So Ali Farag 12, manages 10. to come back from two Match games to Farag, love. Three game to two. A lot of uh, action with the referees. 9-11, Huge amount of action with the referees there. But he's come back. Ali Farag and he's four. He had multiple match balls. He managed to convert in the tie break. So in the last match of today's play, the world number one taking on the world number three. 84 minutes, three games to two. Ali Farag into another major final. This time in Alguna, his first final. The El Actually, it's his second final of the Alguna International. 
Because he played Marwan El Shabagi last year, from my recollections. But uh, he's just coming now to down to courtside to have a chat with uh, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Ali Farag. Ali, congratulations. What a comeback. Two love down there to come back and win it 3-2 in the manner that you did. You must be very impressed. Very, 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 very. Yeah, I can be uh, more proud of today, you know. I started the game not badly, but then uh, by the end of the first and uh, this, or the entire of the second game, he was standing in front of me for the whole game, really, and I couldn't really get the ball uh, back in the deep corners, and thanks to Karim and Noor in my corners. And, you know, uh, some days just some people make the difference, and I think today just looking at my brother, I haven't seen him for a while uh, in my corner, and just looking at him and giving me the energy just made all the difference, and I'm really, really happy to be through today. A couple of nervy moments there in the fifth and final game there. Um, talk us through it when you had all those match balls. Um, it was quite a, quite a nervous watch for us in the wings. I just wanted to make it more exciting for the crowd. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, you know, Tarek played uh, really well when he was down. Uh, six, the the six, six, ten point and the seven, ten point, he played them really well. He was attacking very well, so he got me edgy. So I forced it myself. And this is when you really, uh, he catches you off guard, you know. And at ten all, I said, there is nothing I lost. We're still even. So I might give it a go, but uh, all credit to Tarek. He never makes it easy at all. And I'm, uh, uh, I'm over, the moon, over the moon to be in, in another final here in Aguna. You made it to the final this time last year. You had to settle for runner-up there. Um, you've got that experience, I guess, now, and now the world number one on your shoulders. You've got that crown coming in, brimming with confidence. Um, how do you approach tomorrow? Well, uh, first, uh, first things first, I have to recover really well. I'll have to see Derek Ryan now to work on my body for at least an hour because we did a lot of running, lunging over there. And then tomorrow, another tough one with Karim, you know. I played with Karim so many finals in Egypt, I've never won a uh, once. So uh, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to turn that around, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be a great one against Karim. Always fair and clean and always enjoyable to, be, uh, to play against him. Great. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you back here on the glass court tomorrow evening. Let's hear it for Ali Farag. What a tremendous tussle it turned out to be between these two. I felt that uh, as Farag was coming back, it was going to go all the way to the wire, and it did. 12-10 in the fifth. Really, the game plan of Farag, that adjustment that he made where he just was able to shut down with really good line and length, good basics, and he kept moment, especially on that back backhand area, he kept him buried away there. Waited patiently for his chances, and he showed some nice variations in the fifth game. Unfortunately, both players perhaps just went a little bit hunting for the man in the fifth game, and that detracted from the spectacle because they are two great players, and when they're focused on the squash, they really do deliver. So hopefully they'll... A little bit more of that next time, Joey.